test test one two three again don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor two aside from that welcome to another live stream everyone today today is may 23rd 2021 and we're doing a patio live stream just an open discussion just chilling in the patio and um, we ended up going in the last couple of days uh, ended up getting some seedlings and this is something that uh, our local city sort of sets up different times uh, for about a month period for about three weeks where they hand out free seedlings and this is my haul from uh, three different uh, places that we went to some places have a limit that you can only take so i went to three different places and got a bunch of tomatoes and lettuce and cucumbers and zucchini and stuff so uh, maybe we'll get a chance to take a look at them but today our plan after the stream is to pot everything up and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to do that live as well uh, we see we see and we've got a couple of uh, plants right back there that we've uh, they're seedlings uh, we grown from seeds and they're the four cannabis plants that we're allowed to grow in Canada so uh, maybe we'll get a chance to take a look at those ones too okay aside from that welcome to another live stream while we wait for notifications to go out because i know sometimes they're really really slow uh, both on discord and twitch twitch more so than discord if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho x how are you doing hope you're doing well uh, if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything behind paywall everything is creative commons share and share like void let's go welcome welcome gravity of the situation hello hello hey chicho any cigar i i didn't get a chance to go get any cigars we had some other things to do um so i didn't get a chance to go get any cigars but i will be we're gonna do cigar patio live streams the reason i didn't get a chance to go get any cigars because I was busy getting seedlings <laughs> last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, did you get back into cigars yet? Not yet, not yet, not yet. I slowly, slowly. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of a vice. It's uh, when I get into cigars, sometimes I go crazy. So I'm trying not to go crazy with cigars, right? Elder God, morning, morning. How are you doing? It's 6 p.m. here, and I've just woken up. You just woke up. All of last night was Friday night or Saturday night. Oh, heavy night, heavy night. Big Z Bay, huge fan of your YouTube channel and finally have managed to catch you on a live. Hoping you're having a blessed day today, brother. You too as well. And thank you very much, uh, Big Z Boy, for coming to our live streams. Uh, you get more here than you do on CensorTube. <laughs> That's that's the way it's working out right because we can't load everything on sensor too so hopefully you'll like everything uh, that we're doing uh, not just on sensor too but also on you know uploading to bitchu rumble and odyssey and soundcloud and the live streams here and thank you thank you for the love bacon bacon carrier bacon carrier oh you're gonna do go greasy ah thank you very much uh a big z boy for the twitch prime sub appreciate it very much man thank you morning chicho i'm being baptized today you're being baptized today lord of iron <laughs> what <laughs> serious that's cool that's cool where at you know are you are you doing the full-blown hardcore mode uh at a, at a river or a lake boy yeah first time i went into a hobby shop they had a whole back room filled with cigars like a huge humidor walk-in came out of it with many different single cigars loved it yeah and i used to work at a exclusively cuban cigar store and we had a walk-in humidor so for about a year year and a half i just wanted to be around cigars so i got a job at a cuban cigar store 
and man it was brilliant and we had lounges leather chair lounges and all kinds of people coming in we served drinks to people under the table of course right no not on the table we put it out there but we didn't have a liquor license but it was a private club so you're allowed to bring your own alcohol it was a good it was a good ride it was a good ride oh god no i was referring to the helicopter oh helicopter oh um i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> thomas lp same for me been watching lots of your uh, youtube videos lately and finally catching live awesome thank you very much thomas for coming uh to the live streams by the way gang it's a little windy hopefully the wind is not messing around with the mic uh, it's set up here <laughs> lord of iron uh, no a mini pool at our church a mini pool okay that's okay that's cool that's those are the pool i've been to so uh you, you must be is, is it evangelical are you are you going to an evangelical church uh, um what are the other names for it uh, born again christian church and stuff oh there's a little bumblebee stuck under the <laughs> the umbrella <laughs> the beach umbrella. that's one thing that happens with uh, bees they get into the umbrellas and they get stuck oh look at him he's super cute how do we get him out of there let's see if we can push him out come on come on come on there he is like oh he was on my thing come on come on come on, come on. you're stuck i know come on we can help you along oh he's going to the other side they do bees are super cool by the way gang if you ever watch them if they get stuck somewhere they do a pattern they start off from where they are and they do boop 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 they go out at a radii that's what i've noticed and then if they haven't found a way out they extend their radius they go circular again and then they extend again and they extend again so it's it's pretty cool looking at that uh, I don't think void I don't think there's cigars only shop store in Quebec I might be mistaken how do you even order cigars do they come in a humidor box uh, no they could be just single individual wrapped or they could be um, in a box come on come come No, 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 don't fly there. Don't fly there. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, you're almost out. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> Had to take care of the little guy. Baptist, Baptist, maybe. Okay. Nazareth Church, cool. By the way, Nazareth, what a band. What a band. Metal. I used to listen to a lot of Nazareth. I like Nazareth. We have extremely high winds here. Elder God, up time six minutes up time windy also in quebec been so humid past two days the breeze feels nice 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 lonely piggy how are you doing hey chicho and chat good morning from a sunny montreal awesome it's sunny here as well super cool it's been cold and wet here all weekend oh no you're in uk though elder god i got soaked on friday pooper scooper oh yeah i gotta finish my intro gang for those of you that sporting work on patreon thank you very much for the support and for those of you that want to know what it is that we're doing and where we're doing our thing we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are making the transition from sensor tube to twitch and from other platforms and coming to these live streams thank you very much for the support gang and mods as always thank you for taking care of business and being here good morning chicho you have a wonderful patio it reminds me of our father's awesome good good thank you very much for the compliment it's nice it's it's a space um, it's just your living area grows in the spring and summer right so it's really nice and we're trying to grow a lot of food as much as we can i've planted some tobacco seeds i'll see if i can grow tobacco tobacco plants are beautiful by the way beautiful beautiful uh, very nice very nice gang we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab and parlor and we do have a page uh, discord page where you can join 
and participate in discussion and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including the discord page at the bottom there so you're definitely welcome to join us there we have a few different um, folders channels set up where people are talking about different things that they want to talk about and someone re suggested or recommended requested that we open up an autom automotive folder so we did that this morning as well cheryl how are you doing it's to hit 33 degrees celsius here today or oh, it's been hot for the past four days but taking my son and his friends to the theater to see the De demon slayer uh in a bit so the ac will help nice so did you watch parts of it uh cheryl is it uh kid friendly i haven't i've been watching the uh the the series i watched like three four episodes of the animated series and it's pretty good so i think when i i, I stopped watching the animated series I want to watch the movie and then watch the animated series after that. Uh, Rachel, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Rachel, uh, have you read Rachel Rising? Comic book series by Terry Moore. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Rachel Rising. I posted her already. Uh, first automotive post. Ah, nice, Elder God. Nice. The movie was so good. Uh, uh, Steam, Steam, name, name, Steam Street named Lehman. Yeah, I've heard it's supposed to be really good. That's why I started watching the uh, series. The movie takes place after season. Oh, the movie takes place after season two. Okay, okay. So I'm not going to watch the movie then. I'm going to continue on with the series. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> I, it would have sucked to watch the movie out of order. For some reason, I didn't. The series didn't hit my radar too much. The sun is shining on my screen, so it's difficult to read the names a little bit. Monkey, Mr. Banana Monkey, <laughs> nice name hello chat how's everybody doing today doing fantastic i got some chocolates again and i got a spoon this time <laughs> just in case the chocolate melts <laughs> spoiler averted yes spoiler averted was amazing amazing okay it's like a new episode basically but a full length feature film nice the movie actually takes place after the last episode of the first season is is it true last episode of the first season or after the second season so we've got two different uh it's safe to watch after first season safe to watch after first season okay wait wait we gotta we gotta sort this out oh yeah gang while we sort this out i will be uploading the audio of this live stream as long as there's no hiccups with the lapel mic to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and it should be this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes wow so um street name lehman says i might have thought it has two seasons it only it only has one season okay oh i'll i'll go check cool 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 second season coming later just, okay awesome so gotta watch the first season and then the movie and then the second season thank you very much for that order gang Oh, okay it is only a one season my bad Chicho. no worries no worries i would have hit end of season one i would have gone what's going on i would have figured it out pretty sure anyway or gone to our discord and asked all right cheryl my son pulled up uh key scenes so i would understand all the characters etc i'll still be pl uh, playing catch up but they are so excited i couldn't make them wait awesome good 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 and life can be brutal as we've talked about as far as i'm concerned it's okay to expose kids within reason as long as they're mentally prepared for it to a little bit of hardcore uh film and tv that's my personal opinion and we will be uploading guaranteed 100 percent this live stream to bitchute rumble and odyssey and depending on where the conversation takes us this live stream will also be loaded on sensor tube however if you are watching this segment this little snippet short little one minute thing and you don't see the full live stream it means the discussion went to places where we could not load up the live stream on sensor tube so you'll have to check out boop, 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 over here bit you rumble and odyssey or soundcloud if you're okay with audio to see what happened with the live stream 
because one thing we're going to do is I might show you guys my seedlings we have but we'll see where the rest of the conversation conversation takes us and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube as long as it's up all right let me take these guys down again i saw it on a movie stream app I think it was the movie can i watch as a standalone i don't know maybe elder god can you watch demon slayer as a standalone ding bobber how you doing hey chicho lovely weather we've been having in ontario i can only assume uh in bc as bc as well it's been very very nice it's a little the, the wind is a little chilly so i brought my mexican blanket out uh, so if it gets chilly i'm gonna throw my blanket on me but uh it's not bad so far Good morning, Chicho live stream and real MC Mike. How are you doing? You have a wonderful garden behind you. Thank you. It's about to get a lot lot lusher. <laughs> and free Assange, free Assange, free Assange gang. Should I show you what we got? Let me show you the uh cuttings, uh the seedlings I picked up. Let me sort out this little thing I got. Throw it in here. Hopefully the uh, the audio will not crap out being in my pocket. <laughs> I need to do an upgrade <laughs> but I use it until the end until it crashes on me right hopefully it won't be crashing on me let me show you what I picked up now hey chat Eduardo how are you doing we've been talking about personal finance investing making sure you're anti-fragile your community is anti-fragile your society is anti-fragile right basically resilient and making sure everyone so it can be as independent as possible right now one thing that has happened in our city the city has i think starting last year or the year before i can't remember when it was okay they started setting up uh times where they were giving away cuttings seedlings to the community right so you would go there they would have like a two-hour session three-hour session and usually so a couple of places i went to they had like a six-hour window where you could pick up seedlings the first three hours was for senior citizens immune compromised people and people who are more uh fragile in our community right so the first three hours was for them and then the next three hours was for everyone else right so i went into the second hours and we picked up seedlings right that they were giving away for free for people to grow their own food okay which is fantastic one way any community can become more anti-fragile and more independent and less dependent on centralized uh industrial food chain really military industrial food chain like the 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 huge conglomerates right very very important like we had last summer we had so much lettuce and tomatoes and cannabis grew four cannabis plant that were around in canada ended up getting like 11 ounces of cannabis which is a fair bit of money right so it made us more independent okay uh elder god wells we are on movies please never watch breach with bruce willis i am saying saving your life <laughs> i stopped watching bruce willis movies <laughs> how's your help doing good brother thank you very much bit monkey hope you're doing well also and thank you for for asking let me show you what we got in terms of uh seedlings uh ding bobber such a good idea my cousin boyfriend has started a pepper seed business he already has 100 different varieties available it's the second year he's doing this and already has over 100 awesome 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 check this out ended up getting how many one two three four five six and we're gonna go more next next i think two weeks three weeks lettuce right so we got six of these batches okay so we're gonna plant these we're probably gonna split them up as well right so split them up and plant them so we have a bed of lettuce going 
because we ended up eating a lot of lettuce. Yeah, the fifth element, Bruce Willis, was fantastic. In my opinion, is when Bruce Willis had that perfect amount of balding and crispy hair on top. Yeah. And still had a little bit of sex appeal, but on the gross side, dirty side, right? Romaine I is, is this romaine? I think this is romaine lettuce, yeah? I don't know if this is romaine. I want to get last year they gave us butter lettuce. Butter lettuce was phenomenal. Butter lettuce is like thin crispy not crispy thin leathery letter lettuce it was butter lettuce is so good so good china has recently been sending some uh treated seas to uh, aliexpress customers with some bad rated yeah i would i personally i'm not buying any veggies and fruits and stuff from uh basically only buying organic or local as much as possible right except for bananas and avocados right and oranges i guess Ooh, butter lettuce yes my dad would grow that butter lettuce gang amazing you can't buy butter lettuce in the grocery store i've never seen it because i think it's too fragile but you, when you grow it it's amazing Growing my own veggies is certainly a goal of mine. Seems very rewarding, extremely rewarding, Matt. Extremely rewarding. Yeah, Cheryl, butter lettuce. Yeah, you must grow. Yeah. Here, check this out. This is uh, mustard. So we're gonna grow some mustard. Okay, fantastic. Really nice. So we got two of these things for mustard. What else we got? We got this. This is really good. You can actually eat eat the flowers as well. Nasturtium, nasturtium. Get growing. Get growing. Oh, get growing, Victoria. Nasturtium. So this is, and it gives uh, flowers, and you can eat the flowers. Super good. Super good. Right. Very delicious. Okay. Moringo, Moringo. I don't know what Moringo is. Check this out. We picked up uh, three of these these guys, which is cucumbers. So we're gonna go cucumbers. What kind of cucumber? Uh, cucumber Market More seventy six. I have no idea what that is. Moringa. You can find it uh, at farmers markets usually if anyone is interested oh the butter lettuce i've never seen oh that's a good idea i've never seen it around for our farmers markets we got two different types of tomatoes We got two different types of tomatoes. I mean, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these ones and one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven of these ones. So we got eight. Well, this is an Asturgeon. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. So we got seven of each, not eight. So seven of each. Got seven uh, early girl tomatoes. seven early 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 girl okay and we got seven sweet uh, million right very nice so we should have lots of tomatoes cherry tomatoes are easy we got zucchini as well watercress i've had as well thing bobber super delicious what is the easiest vegetable to grow uh, to start growing if you've uh, never grown tomatoes are really easy tomatoes are ridiculously easy which garden do you go to on the island to buy plants i live in uh, couch and bay so always ended up in uh, one uh, these ones we got uh, victoria is giving them away they've set up places where you can just go they give away these seedlings so that's what i ended up doing we just went to the seedlings but dan's uh, uh we go to dan's uh, uh farm market it's like a local 
um, in the summer, late spring, summer, we go there. It's like a local farm where we get a fair bit of stuff. We've got to get more of these guys. Take a look. Uh, marigold. Marigold is good for fighting off um, bugs. Okay. So marigold. We gotta get more of those. We got chives. Chives? Chives is amazing. Right? Chives. Nights of Old Comic, how are you doing, Chicho? It would be funny if you dressed in a mountain uniform for a stream one day. Oh, I can't do it, brother. I can't do it. I don't know what this is. We picked this up, but I don't know what it is. They didn't have labels on these ones. I forget what this is. So we're gonna plant these. Oh, that might be a pepper plant. And we do have basil as well. Basil is over here. I got, where's my basil? Here's my basil. This is basil. That one I think could be a pepper plant. Good call, good call. This is basil. Basil Genov Genovese. Chicho, the centralized version. <laughs> oh, basil looks so. Basil is amazing. We gotta get a couple more of these. We use up a lot of basil. These ones I don't know either. Where are these ones? I don't know what these ones are either. Any idea, gang? This one might be pepper. I think you're right. It might be pepper. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, street name lemon. We got four zucchinis. Black beauty. We got four of these guys. Black beauty zucchini. The other one. Let's hey. Let's find out how we're doing. I don't know if the other one's uh, lettuce. Oh, it might be, uh, what's it called? So we've got four of these ones. It, it might be, oh, uh, greens, like edible greens, not lettuce, but, uh, oh man, I forget what it is. The... Like, like arugula type of lettuce, these ones. Good call, let's find out. Nice book. Chicho, all free. Yeah, all free. All free. And the last four things that we're going to grow, uh, and we grew these from seed. Let me bring them over and show them to you. And we got four of these guys. Anybody know what these are? I. Anybody know what these are? <laughs> What are these things? <laughs> arugula. Yeah, I think so. The other ones are arugula. We got four of these babies that we grew from seed. <laughs> I think a cannabis. A cannabis. 420. 420. More broccoli or cauliflower. The other one. Was it cauliflower? Maybe. You know, you can. Uh, where we go? So we got four of these guys we're going to plant. What else? 
what else? That's it. And we already have. Uh, we already have a bunch of. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like mint already planted, uh, uh, black currant, raspberry, gooseberries, um, chives. Uh, chives is chives. Maybe some chives going on here already, uh, and a, and a bunch of other things we already got planted, right? Cannabis sativa, bummer. Heck yeah. You gotta grow in Canada. We can grow for rock and roll, right? Apologies about missing some of the chat, gang. <laughs> the real MC mic. They're, they're potted plants. <laughs> any clones you wanna hand, hand out? No clones yet. We don't have any clones. And we have to figure out if these are gonna be female or not. We want female, right? And you won't know if they're female until they start flowering and you see the uh, the hair on the flowers once you see the hair on the flowers then you know it's female if you get flowers and you don't see the hair um, coming then it's male so male is for pollinating uh, generating seeds we don't want that we want the bud right i'll take a clone if we have extra it's yours <laughs> buckeye tree cheryl says you have lemongrass a uh, lemongrass uh, no we haven't planted lemongrass did we have lemongrass last year no that's a good idea though lemongrass is really good thyme no we got uh, um what do you call it uh, <laughs> i cook with rosemary we have rosemary we have mint and we will plant um greens uh herbs as well we just haven't got around to doing doing the herbs. We're gonna fix things up. We have a like a bed there and a bed here, and we've got lots of pots, lots of soil, compost in buck, buckets right now. So we're gonna do some planting today and this week anyway, and sort of arrange things and then have a bed where we're growing chives and herbs and um, and lemongrass, thyme, lavender. Lavender we have lots all around the neighborhood, so we can pick that up stuff easy peasy all right ding bobber my friend just gave me some of his homegrown northern lights it's bomb stuff nice 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 mr banana monkey you're inspiring me to want to start a garden now good good that is that is one of my intentions of doing these right just like it is my intention uh, one of my intentions when I make comic book videos to get people turned on to comic books my intention to uh, for doing the math videos is to get people to learn mathematics my intentions of talking about personal finance and investing is to get people to think about investing in their personal finance and how to become anti-fragile one of my intentions for doing the patio <laughs> is to get people to grow their own food right uh, but instead of yelling and screaming it uh, my thing is uh, I, I'm, I'm not a politician so I don't say uh, do as I say not do as I do I say do as I do uh, try to grow your own food become anti-fragile you know, it's healthier uh, physically you're moving around you're lifting things you you build muscle you're getting fresh air you're away from technology you're uh, growing healthy good food and that in turn will make you more anti-fragile and that in turn is more of a personal finance investing decision so uh thank you i'm glad i'm glad it's doing that <laughs> they're having uh, giving out free cannabis to vaccinated people they say my god they're doing everything they can to to get people to uh, <laughs> instead of eat chocolate <laughs> to do something else plant disease first of all you have to have the good soil so the plants can be strong right so the question is how do you find fight off plant disease start off with good soil all right that's one thing you need to do um, make sure the plants have enough room to grow so they are healthy right if you find plants that are getting infected 
by pests and stuff like this, take care of it right away. So monitoring is important, right? You need to monitor your plants. Um, it's a project you're taking on. That means you spend every day outside taking care of your plants, watering them. That's a healthy decision. But all said and done, uh, bugs are part of nature. So you, if you have a garden, you're going to get hit with bugs. You just have to be on top of it, right? It's like if you're a human being, you're going to get sick every now and then. Be on top of it, right? Are you doing uh, everything? You are doing everything I like, but can you draw? No, I can't draw worse shit. Like, I am a horrendous drawer. Uh, I taught myself how to write. Uh, as best as I could uh, because high school university even my work never taught me how to write uh, high school and university they teach you fluffy words right fluffy words which is useless when it comes to communicating it's nice when you're uh, let me rephrase it, it's fluffy fluffy words are are amazing if you're writing science fiction fantasy uh, if you're trying to paint a picture but if you're trying to communicate information fluffy words tend to get in the way uh, in a scientific manner right so that was one of the problems I found coming out of high school and university I was used to using fluffy words and descriptive stuff but when you get into the workforce when you're working especially for an engineering company which I did for a decade right doing geophysics you're not the your clients aren't there for fluffy words they're there they hire you as a contractor to give them the information they're looking for as easily as affordably as possible so all the writing that you learn at high school and university is useless if you're going into to a certain degree the sciences engineering consulting right so and if you're trying to straight up share information or going into economics and politics, right? So for me, I had to learn how to write. Uh, and this was after years of working as a geophysicist, right? Do I sterilize the soil? No, only sterilized soil is indoor plants because outdoor nature sort of takes care of its own bugs. So one, one of the ways I, I deal with bugs as well in the garden is I don't kill bees I don't kill wasps right I don't have wasp unless we get a ton I've never done it have you know we thought about it last year have those wasp catchers to catch the wasps and stuff right because wasps eat pests okay so pretty important to have uh, predator bugs in your garden to eat the bad bugs in your garden so nature like for example if the my my plants indoors get bugs what I I try to manage them indoors if I can't manage them indoors I bring them outside and let nature take care of it and then I leave it outside for a little bit of time nature takes care of it the bugs go away after a week two weeks two months and then I clean it up and I bring it indoors again sometimes bugs come back indoors but you took care of you took care of them in waves so they come and come at you in waves that's what i end up doing all right prisoners who get vaccinated as well i don't know how to reduce sentences for prisoners who get vaccinated as well are you serious in ohio they were doing a lottery they give out one million dollars five one million dollar i don't know man I just hope they don't start handing out free beer. Ah, oh, Elder God, funny. Can you do geometry vis visualization? A little bit. I can't do, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, topology, to topography. And, like That stuff is too much for me, right? But simple visualization of geometric patterns and stuff like this trying to solve problems, sure. Uh, it's just you learn it over time, right? Scientific words only, please. Haha. Uh -huh. Bit monkey. Fluffy words have, a, have holes in them. Right, right people can, uh, right people can see right through them. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? If you if you if you find a 
politician is using a lot of fluffy words uh, you know they're full of shit uh, Obama was one of them right Max the sun is coming out nice Max Wild, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, lately I've been feeling inspired by your math videos to relearn mathematics that I haven't done for 10 years. Is there any specific textbook or book that you'd recommend for someone trying to relearn? Max Wild, the way I got into teaching mathematics is because I really felt bad about losing a skill that I had learned at university. At high school and university or in my centralized indoctrination centers so what I did I took an ad back in the day this is mid 1990s right no internet advertisements local wise not like this anyway right so I took a classified ad in the paper saying math and physics math physics and science tutor um, and that was really cheap I charged ten dollars per hour and I stated that uh, I'm a geophysicist, a math minor. However, I haven't done this stuff for a long time. So I charge $10 an hour and I will be your steady partner. And what I did for a number of years, and I did this as a part-time, as a hobby, when I was doing geophysics and publishing comic books and stuff like this, I would pick up like two, you know, two, three clients, one, two, three clients uh, for, I did that for two, three years, three, four years, right? And I would drive around all over the place I didn't really make any money it was ten dollars per hour is charging but I sat down with people I think I did it for two years and I had like total of like six seven clients in those two years right and I would go to their homes I would go to them right using gas money and all this tra traffic and whatnot and I would sit down and we would work together and that's how I relearned my mathematics and my large part my physics I remember one student I had and I explained to him I said listen this is my background but you know and he was in grade 12 and he was doing math and physics right and chemistry so I said I you know I can be your steady partner we can learn the stuff together I'll help you out as much as I can and we sat there for four months I worked with this kid awesome kid by the way I don't remember his name I, I couldn't even tell you what he looked like right all I know it was awesome we sat there and he taught me stuff and I taught him stuff and that's the way I learned I didn't learn the stuff from a textbook I learned from doing or relearned it from doing and that's what I would recommend it means you're getting paid okay you're meeting new people you're getting question asked of you as to why do we do this and I didn't know the why's so I relearned how to do certain things but I didn't relearn it as a monkey see monkey do the way they teach you in our centralized indoctrination centers I had to understand why it was I was doing something so I learned the whys and that was the key when my students asked me why do we do this Chicho I said I don't know I just know this is the way we do it this is the way I was taught they go well it doesn't make sense to me so I would go home try to figure out why either do search online or read a book or whatever and sometimes I would have to go back right like for factoring polynomials why do we factor them well why do we factor them we'll break them up into things that prime factors right prime functions okay but why well we factor so we broke it down broke it down and then you realize the reason you factor them is because of this because of the power of zero the only number where you can have multiple things multiplied together to give you that number is it has to be zero and if as soon as you set it up to be zero then at least one of those things has to be zero that's the key that's the reason why we learn how to factor that's why we factor but they don't explain this to you in school it's horrendous it's horrendous right think bones thank you very much for the tier one sub hope you're having a good day chicho greetings from england greetings england how are you doing salutations from the west coast of canada very british here where i am there's there there's lots of tea time <laughs> so that's my recommendation matt really and you get and you get paid you make money and don't charge ten dollars per hour charge fifteen dollars per hour charge twenty dollars per hour but right off the bat 
off the get-go explain who you are and why they should hire you because you're gonna work your ass off trying to teach them what it is they need to learn I can't math it's such a hard language to learn uh, street name Lehman it's not it agreed the learning curve is steep but once you reach that level man you can coast it it's brilliant apologies gang I missed a lot of chat okay big monkey is everything in uh, is everything in math can be visualized or there are things that can't be there are things that can't be visualized indeed and a lot of mathematicians don't know how to visualize them like um, oh kit kitusu seven thank you very much for the tier one sub for two months in advance Woo! <laughs> awesome thank you for the support brother or sister of course right uh, as for the question can everything in math be visualized bit monkey check this out MC Escher do you know Escher the guy who drew uh, the stairs going in different perspectives right like it's all trippy it looks like it's going up but it really goes down the guy who drew the hands two hands drawing themselves the guy who drew the images of like lizards turning into birds right that person had an amazing MC Escher he had an amazing ability to visualize geometric objects and patterns and recreate them on paper one of his clients some of his clients his best clients were mathematicians they would contact them and say we need a drawing of this thing because we can't draw it we know what it looks like mathematically but we don't know we don't have a diagram of this and he would draw it for them uh, is it Escher it is Escher EC uh, E S C H E R, I believe so. M C Escher, check it out. Yeah, check out his history. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, but he did a lot of drawings for mathematicians and physicists trying to visualize what they were seeing in their mathematics, which I think is amazing, 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 right. And by the way, gang, thank you, Elder God. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., Monday morning at 10 a.m., we're doing a drop in math tutoring session. Okay. So I'm making myself available for a couple of hours, uh, twice a month, basically, to, you know, we do math drop and tutoring sessions where we do mathematics. So you're definitely welcome to drop in tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m., where we're going to do math on our whiteboard. Okay cool we'll we'll search yeah papaya plant oh we can't grow papaya here i wish we could grow papaya here <laughs> hi and who is this alice and rog 30 drog alessandrog alessandrog 30 i have no is that the correct pronunciation mc mike if anyone is learning linear algebra i recommend um let's check out the recommendation Gilbert Strang um, yeah Gilbert Strang is huge he also has videos on MIT open open courseware but also does calculus some different uh, differential equations too yeah uh, Gilbert Strang is amazing I have a couple of his books uh, really there are some amazing math and physics teachers out there gang find them learn from them I'm, I'm one of the ones for high school mathematics by the way <laughs> I haven't written a book yet I'll drop in but no guarantee I don't understand you know, if if there is okay do this street named uh, name Liam if there is a concept in mathematics that think about this overnight that you had a hard time grasping or you didn't understand why it is that you did it uh, what the purpose of it was especially in high school mathematics I'm talking about high school mathematics think about it come to us tomorrow and ask me why we did certain things in mathematics or why something is important I'll do my best trying to explain it to you as easily and as quickly as possible and if that piques your interest then uh, that might be the push uh, 
you need to convince you that mathematics is not a hard language it's got a steep curve like this but once you reach a certain level of understanding you just coast it it's like learning how to read and write when you're a kid it was difficult to learn how to read and write it was difficult for me but once you learn it you cannot unlearn it like it's ridiculously important right mel to tap any advice on improving reading comprehension on standardized tests those standardized tests understand what they are do lots of practice appreciate that those standardized tests are garbage like pure garbage and they're only there to uh, put you in a box and put a number attached to you okay that's it okay and just do lots of practice do lots of practice it, and it'll click okay I'm learning algebra from TGC videos series by Monica Nigoi I'm loving it awesome Plurtariat parrot any opinions on axioms uh, the largest data mining company uh, no they have a monopoly on the business do they have a monopoly on the business there's a lot of uh, data mining companies out there uh, so I'm assuming they do have competition or there's at least other mo data mining companies out there for sure Facebook is a data mining company Twitter is a data mining company eBay is now a data mining company Google is a data mining company for calculus I loved uh, I love book by Morris Klein uh, and Kahid Azad cool 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 Knights of Okama Chicho my daughter uh, still hates doing math first grade what do I do oh uh, start playing games with her uh, Knights of Okama start playing games with her backgammon is an amazing one if she's in grade one grade first grade kids can easily learn uh, chess and backgammon okay teach them backgammon and backgammon is you learn how to count speedy gonzalez style you learn how to do multiplication because with doubles you move four times okay and you see the pattern recognition aside from that monopoly any board game that requires any level of mathematics highly recommend oh, my umbrella just shot up come back down here let me lock this baby in I think mainly I just get absolutely lot and cards Knights of Old Comic cards play cards with them pattern recognition of the yin yang like seriously it's amazing right Monopoly is one Monopoly is so good so good teaches uh, economics money management uh, teaches you about luck uh, allows you to deal with your emotions right aside from that Knights of Old comic if she's having a hard time understanding a certain concept uh, let me know and we'll try to go over it in uh, the math sessions Lehman I think mainly I just get absolutely lost when it comes to calculus and pre yeah calculus and pre-calculus are on a hard level man for sure but one thing you have to understand about calculus and pre-calc is um, basically it's about introduction of time into mathematics and it's really about learning the behavior of functions right a lot of algebra 2 questions algebra 2 questions i don't know which one that is but i hope i can do them if not hopefully someone else will help us along uh, twitching jason how are you doing i haven't been to a stream in forever but i wonder if i could get a condensed version of your opinion on gamestop and the current state of the markets overall gamestop twitching jason i did a video on gamestop just do chicho gamestop and the video should come up we did a like i think it's a 45 minute or hour video on gamestop and we talk about the markets uh, really it's and it's a fantastic video really it's a great video as to talking about what took place hopefully the wind's not too creating too much uh, noise on the mic my mic is right here by the way styles pg styles hello hello welcome welcome padre 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 how are you doing awesome man that's a great message brother 
I don't know which one it was, but I, <laughs> I hope it was whoever was sharing the message, if not me, will do. Thanks, brother. My pleasure, Matt. My pleasure. Xander, how are you doing? I've tried learning programming a couple of times, and certain things made it very difficult uh, to pick up. I think because... Boop, boop, because my base mathematics knowledge is so poor possibly Xander and it could possibly be the language that we were learning like for me the first time I got exposed to programming language they try to teach us Fortran and Pascal those are the two languages I started off with Fortran and Pascal what a bunch of horrendous languages to learn my chocolate is melting again in the Sun check this out check this out awesome lucky me i brought a spoon lucky lesson learned look at this look at this nice 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 look at this chocolatey goodness mm. very yummy Look at this goodness. This is gonna even focus. <laughs> nice. Mm. Let's put this back in the sun and let it melt. very yummy you're gonna go with backgam and knights of old comic awesome awesome ready ready ass what does ready ass say hey bro i'm new here i'm from belgium could uh could you introduce yourself a little you look really inter interesting and it's really cool to listen to you bro um introduce myself i'm chicho here <laughs> Patreon, Twitch, Mine's VK Gap Parlor, SoundCloud, and these are the platforms I'm active on. Okay, as for what I'm doing, I started blogging um, back in 2005, writing articles. It took me a couple of years to relearn how to read, how to not read, but how to write, how to convey information. One reason I got into blogging, and I wasn't making videos back then, one reason I got into blogging because I saw humanity going down a path which was ridiculously stupid, especially after 9-11 and invading Iraq. And when I would talk to people, people would were mesmerized, hypnotized, stupidified, because there's certain words I can't use on Twitch. They were dumbed down to a level where they thought invading other nations and blowing shit up and killing hundreds of thousands of people was a good idea because their politicians told them to do so and i started getting really tired of trying to explain to people that they're being idiots and they're being played and they're sacrificing their lives their families lives their neighbors lives and they're murdering people across the world for wall street corporations and people used to dismiss me oh chicho 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 so I got really tired of repeating the same damn thing over and over again. So what I started doing is writing articles and referencing everything. So whenever I would get into a discussion with people, uh, people would say, oh, Chicho this, Chicho this. I would say, you know what? You're too dumb for me to have a conversation with you. Go and read this article on my website, okay? And I have a lot of references, everything linked up. Once you read that article, maybe in regards to pipelines, that's why they're waging wars, maybe in regards to opium production afghanistan pars gap whatever it might be right no, 2008 financial collapse whatever it might be read these articles and then i'll talk to you guys and these are close friends i would talk to sometimes right when i started doing that i said what i needed to be said after a while and i stopped writing the articles i think back in 2011 2012 because i as aaron Dottie roy would say i felt like i'd said everything that needed to be said and I was repeating myself so I'm done back in 2007 2008 I started making math videos instructional math videos because one of my family members in the United States needed math help since the mathematics that they were teaching in the US 
back then in his school anyway it was pure garbage so i started trying to teach him online just through email and just chatting of how to do mathematics it wasn't working out too well so what i started doing is taking big chalk uh learn how to edit video and i would hit the city and do urban math graffiti style and i would set up my camera and teach mathematics and i started off with the real number set and built it up from there all right specifically i was doing this to help him learn mathematics once i started uploading the videos to youtube then sensor tube now people were blown away people started sending me messages saying chicho your math videos help me get my math degree help me do this help me do this thank you very much thank you very much so i had no choice but to continue that work and that's what i do and this is part of it and this is the progression this is where we are now that's my quick little intro aside from that i've been writing articles for 15 years or i've been I have a presence online for the last 15 16 years I have 1200 plus videos in sensor tube a lot of them transfer to uh, odyssey and everything being loaded up to bitchu rumble and odyssey and most of the stuff being loaded on to sensor tube because of censorship won't allow us to load off a lot of things that's my quick intro i'm sorry if it's a little bit too long but uh, and my background is geophysics and uh, mathematics a lot of people working in their yards you grind chicho you've been doing your thing for years i try man it's the only way i can put my head down at night and sleep right if i'm if i'm watching uh i just don't like centralized power i don't like corruption i don't like uh i like the underdog and humanity right now is the underdog and corporations centralized power are the bullies and i don't like bullies <laughs> it's just the way it is it's in my nature right that was a great introduction thanks my pleasure uh ready ass padre 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 by the way gang i missed a lot of chat padre 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 i don't feel like there's a lot of entrances back into mathematics once you've gotten out of school there are a lot of ways i guess but it doesn't feel that way uh, to people sometimes yeah my entrance back to mathematics was teaching mathematics that was it because for me in my life what i've tried to do and i highly recommend gang do this and this is something that i i really emphasize in the personal finance and investing videos that i put out the playlist that we have um personal finance and investing right i emphasize i emphasize that if you love doing something in your life and you want to do more of it then try to morph it into a revenue stream no matter how little it might be right i love collecting comic books i love the comic book world so i buy comic books and every now and then i sell comic books to generate money for me to buy more comic books I rolled over my comic book love into sharing comic books, reading comic books, talking about history of comic books, doing com creating comic book content, right? Mathematics, I wanted to get back into it, get back into physics. I, because it was taking time and we all have expenses, we all have to pay bills, right? Maintain ourselves. So what I did was flip that into a possible money generator and it turned out that way right whereas generate a little bit of money me spending my time so it's a double reward you love what you're doing and you're making a little bit of funds to pay your way through life that's what I recommend really you love exercise fantastic get in shape read books read articles about nutrition different exercise routine put an ad in the paper add in a online wherever you add on your telephone poles around your neighborhood saying physical fitness you want to get back and you know word it properly don't lie to people say you want to get back into shape i am beginning my physical fitness career i know about nutrition and exercises i will set you up with a proper diet and a proper exercise routine for 15 dollars an hour that's basically you're undercutting 
professional fitness trainers that are in gyms by at least at least 50 percent and you're keeping it local and you're learning and you're building a clientele and you're getting paid and you're spending time doing something you love win 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 for everyone your community you everybody why not why wouldn't you do it right why wouldn't you do it people pp lover pp louver hey boss been a while wife suffered a widow maker and whoops <laughs> that's have you been what <laughs> oh no and whoop it's as widowmaker i don't know what a suffer widowmaker is hi chicho what is your opinion of jeff uh berwick i don't know jeff berwick who's jeff berwick bit monkey when will i live if i keep correcting my uh wrong childhood teaching uh, correcting it is part of living if they taught you if they taught you something in life that is incorrect for example history there's a lot of history being taught in centralized indoctrination centers which is just pure garbage life is seeking truth to a certain degree right facts history then learn that history that's part of life it's not when would I begin living my life if that's what you meant Knights of all comment Chicho what type of backgammon set should I get I would personally personally I don't like the leather ones where you roll the dice and it goes but like muffled sound I like wooden backgammon boards and little dice because with little dice you can hit him in a way where the dice spin and that's part of the fun of the dice kids really love doing that and the sound of the dice is hypnotic is very uh, ASMR ish to me right it calms me down where you go tur, tur, tur. so best place to buy backgammon boards if you have a Persian store grocery store they sometimes have it uh, Turkish grocery store uh, or online I would say a wooden backgammon board don't go too too crazy expensive you can buy ones that are fairly cheap right to start off with and go to the beach and play backgammon um, you should be able to get a backgammon board for a cheap wooden one a good cheap I mean good cheap wooden one for like 40 50 60 dollars right the dice is also key um, if they don't come with good dice um, that spin nicely and little dice uh, find good dice somewhere and those are at game shops right street name Lehman what does a deaf kind of colleges do read lips aha joke joke padre 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 I can almost do 100 push-ups in a row I'm at 80 now wow that's awesome man I can't do I can't do shoulder shoulder it's a widow maker a fallen branch oh is that what it is what a widow maker is a fallen branch crazy crazy welcome back elder God says to twitching Jason I believe when a branch falls from a tree and hits you oh no pipi louver heart attack mostly hits men no symptoms alive one second dead the next yeah I think women get a lot of heart attacks too no but I think men are higher uh, and why heart disease right stress has a lot to do with heart disease yeah I have a solid old wood backgammon board and it's great yeah bit monkey the place you could uh, have reached if te teacher in place have done their work correctly that's what I meant ah okay being seeker of truth is it ine inevitable to go on truth exploration yeah and agreed there's a lot of horrendous teachers in uh, our centralized indoctrination centers and that's by design okay that's by design most good teachers don't last very long and 
in uh, centralized indoctrination centers nowadays. It's unfortunate. I used to know some really good teachers. They started dropping out a few years ago. They couldn't take it anymore. Uh, it, you know, one of them had a nervous breakdown. One of them retired. One of them just out, outright just quit. That was it. He was, he was done. Uh, yeah, another one I knew. She, yeah, she just had a nervous breakdown. Oh, very unfortunate. She was a fantastic teacher. Fantastic teacher. Are those articles you were uh, talking about earlier still online? Yeah, l some of them. If you go to my site, uh, by the way, Blogger now is taking out some of my pages on my Blogger page. I've been on Blogger for 10 years now, right? After my, I had my own website. My own website got, the server got hacked and it was taken down and stuff like this. So I just went, okay, I can't deal with the maintenance of a website or the expense of a website. So I went on Blogger. After 10 years of being on Blogger, Blogger is now taking down pages, articles that I've written in the past. One of the pages they took out was just a table of contents linking up to our blog, <laughs> our, our podcast on SoundCloud, right? And the reason it's happening is because CensorTube, YouTube, and Google, Blogger, and a lot of these technocratic sites, they have automation running and it's filtering, censoring information. And they don't even know. The programs are so horrendous that they don't even know what they're censoring right there I'll read you a piece I wrote um, in one of my first articles I ever wrote I'm gonna read you a paragraph on it okay but before we go there let's see what let's find out says Chicho that was an articulate way to teach others to have control of their time and lives pursue your passions and pass on valuable life information at an affordable price Eric Weinstein wisely said all it takes for you to earn six figures is a thousand followers to invest a hundred dollars a year into your project awesome and eric uh, weinstein i like aaron weinstein's uh, podcast by the way if we're thinking about the same person um and that's a great way of saying it right and that's one of the business models i've had in my life uh there's a few different teachers that i followed one of them was robert anton wilson but let me let me read you this anomalies prisons and geo physics one of the first articles there's two articles actually about four articles that i wrote when i came online my first articles in 2005 or so right 2005 2006 one of them was a real review of system of a downs uh music right and a phenomenal piece this piece right here let me link it up for you guys anomalies prisons and geophysics how governments use data and how to stop them Doop. that's the article thank you very much uh milzy 115 for the twitch prime sub this article right here this article took me three weeks four weeks to write really took me a long time took me about a month to write because i wanted to share my vision of where society was going if we were not careful if we didn't hold these centralized powers accountable which is where we are by the way right this is about data mining data collection uh, how centralized power can control uh, our lives and turn turn us into serfs and slaves right destroy our life read this article i put a lot of time and effort into this game but i'm going to read you the last paragraph in this and all the embedded video in this article that I that I sent you all the stuff was after I had written this article I because this was on my first site I ever loaded this is the third iteration on my site online right this was on the first site. all this embedded video is after the fact right I just embedded some videos on there but I'm gonna read you the last paragraph I think it's the last paragraph I'm gonna read you this right and this is about data collecting Okay, no, I'm going to read you the last two paragraphs. And I, we've sandwiched Edward Stone, Snowden's video between these two paragraphs, right? So let me read you this. Apologies, I'm not reading the chat. Okay, quote from 
my own article. The best way, however, to stop these entities is to make fundamental changes to the system itself. This requires us to be to be educated in the methods in which we control uh, we are controlled, allowing us to understand the problems that exist in the current systems so we can avoid its pitfalls. Placement at the highest levels in government of ethical civil servants that are accountable to the people and regard the privacy of individuals as the most important aspect of their duties is an essential starting point. It is also crucial that during this transitional period, that during this transitional period, alternative choices for leaders, uh, leaders are present to avoid a power vacuum. By decentralizing our government and localizing our communities, we can avert chaos during this process. As a collective, we must understand that democracy can only exist in a society with an educated populace and the right for self-governance can only be obtained through knowledge. When a society embraces ignorance and forfeits its right to control its destiny, it has succumbed to apathy and can only deteriorate. In science, the analysis of anomalies contributes to our understanding of the physical world improving our lives. In contrast, identifying anomalies in our society based on political doctrine has created fear and misunderstanding, restricting our lives. The lack of accountability from our leaders and our indifference to the consequences of their actions is diminishing our civil liberties. But it is not too late. We can prevent this from happening. We still have the ability to reclaim our future if we begin to educate ourselves. Okay, that's just the last two paragraph from that article. Very important. Back then, at the beginning of 2000s, after 9/11, when they went into, after 9/11, really, Patriot Act kicked in. You could see where centralized power wanted to take our societies, which is here now, presently, and what a dystopian society I see coming 10 years from now if we're not careful. Okay. That was a warning I wrote in 2005, 2006. Why does MC Escher look like Cloud Shannon? I don't know what Cloud Shannon looks like. Controller Zen, how are you doing? Chat, many of you don't uh, know this, but Chicho actually has a, a strain of marijuana named after him. It's called Chicho Chong, is it? I wish one day there will be, right? We'll call it the Chichonian Chicho Chong. <laughs> yes, they named it for him in 1996. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> funny, funny. So basically, they won. How do we have any hope when they have all of the power? They are, no, they don't all have all of the power. They don't have it, right? They don't have it. Look at all the censorship going on, Sensor Tube. Look at this chocolate, look at this chocolate, look at this chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at the censorship on SensorTube, right? Look at all the alternative platforms. Not alternative, new tech has popped up as disruptive innovation to challenge the stuff. I, I load up more videos on Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey than I do SensorTube. In five years' times, I've been on SensorTube for 15 years. In 15 years time, I'm gonna have way more videos on those platforms than I am on sensor two. If I live to be the expected age that males live in Canada, I can guarantee you, I will be allowed around a lot longer than sensor tube. YouTube will be around. They haven't won. Elder God, it is extremely important for us as a population to fully comprehend the power that this sort of broad data collection gives our governments. Those who control and interpret the data will have the ability to not only remove unwanted people, but also to restrict the movement of the entire populace. That's, a, that's what I wrote down, I believe, right? What are they doing right now? What are they doing right now? They were doing this back then. 
but they were doing it to very select people so the majority of people were like ah whatever they're bad people our government's telling the truth our government was lying through their teeth right our government was lying through their teeth look at how many innocent people they have in guantanamo way they destroyed their lives innocent people for for 15 16 years they've been tortured by a centralized power and the people that live in that country in the united states don't give a rat's ass what their government has been doing to these innocent people as someone said i forgot who it was we get the government we deserve right if you believe in such things as being governed elder god i like this paragraph thanks elder god took me a long time to write that piece because i really wanted to make sure it was timeless I want to ask, Bitmonkey says, what you think about the Vedic text? Are interested in them? I don't know Vedic text. Uh, are you talking about ancient text, uh, like Sanskrit and stuff like this? And uh, what's it called? The the Hebrew uh, text. I forget what it's called. I love that gambit comic yeah <laughs> nice info in infolosphere thanks yeah, that was a good read i think i'm gonna release that today i think on the platforms first appearance of gambit uncanny x-men number 266 you got first appearance of gambit indeed audio audio face we did a reading of the first appearance of gambit yesterday at 10 o'clock we started at 10 o'clock most likely i'll have the video up on these platforms on these platforms today if not today then tomorrow right we did a reading of it fantastical fantastical 75 isn't it sensor tube equals youtube yeah sensor tube equals youtube right because that's what it is <laughs> like this is this is delicious chocolate uh, and you can't really call it anything else and YouTube is not YouTube it, it's not for you and me sensor tube is sensor tubes it's sensor tube like that's what it is All right and if you want to uh, have access to everything that we produce uh, you want to subscribe to bitshoot rumble or odyssey that's where i'm uploading everything everything is not going on sensor tube okay and by the way i've started the process videos i'm gonna leave videos up for a day or two days the new videos that we load up to sensor tube that only have an advertisement at the beginning of them, right after 24 hours or 48 hours i'm putting in in roll ads mid roll ads on all videos from now on that are being uploaded to sensor tube and putting a little note at the bottom in the description of the video saying if you want to watch these this content ad free you want to watch it on bitchute rumble and odyssey okay for every action from centralized power we should have an equal and more devastating reaction right Punisher Max, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how are you? Uh, uh, how are you, my friend? Doing well. Thank you very much. Eating chocolate and sitting in a patio talking uh, to a bunch of amazing people. MC Mike, beware of the uh, centrally backed digital currencies, folks. Indeed. You think the tech censorship and financial censorship is bad now? Just wait till they try to unleash a currency where everything is tracked and there is no more anonymity left. Canada is two years out, and most of my profs had worked with the Bank of Canada for rolling it out. Traitors, traitors indeed. And in the article that I linked up, Anomalies, Prisons, and Geophysics, I talk about this, right? They could, with centralized digital currency, it's not cryptocurrency, it's digital currency they could limit your movement by just limiting the ability that you can where you can spend your money to a kilometer from your home right radius a kilometer away C 
credit card companies have been doing this, have this algorithm for a long time. They've had it. I wrote about it. I included that in that article because back in the mid 2000s, credit card companies were doing this. They were limiting the ability of people within a certain radius. They were rolling it out, right? Centralized power can say, oh, Chicho, Chicho not talk good about us. Chicho cannot spend his money more than one kilometer away from his home. And if he continues to be a bad boy, we'll make it one meter away from his centralized location, right? Where he lives. We'll see where it goes. I'm hoping there's a ton of uh, amazing, uh, well-intended, brilliant uh, programmers out there, which will totally collapse them. Uh, their control over humanity. From 2007, they knew COVID gonna come, and they avoided it. Stream name Lehman is the Hebrew book you're talking about. The Epic of Gilgamesh. No, I've read the Epic of Gilgamesh like three times. Uh, the oldest book in the world. Well, I've read, I've read the Epic of Gilgamesh. I've had the audiobook read to me, and I bought the graphic novel Epic of Gilgamesh. And I read that and I highly recommend reading that. That was the most digestible version of the Epic of Gilgamesh that I've read. Uh, so Epic of Gilgamesh is pretty good. What basically a lot of mythology is based on, right? Cyanide for dinner. How are you doing? I know that censorship is in YouTube isn't exactly right, but seeking, uh, seeing from their perspective, their role, uh, they are also a private company that got to keep their investors happy. I don't see any solution from their end to, no, it's, this is not about uh, keeping their investors happy. This is about uh, maintaining the monopoly stranglehold on society, right? And keep in mind, YouTube, Google, most of these tech companies got to where they are by government funding, right? And what's government funding? That's funding from taxpayer money, right? So they are a utility now, right? A lot of these companies. And they're not, they're not doing this uh, to return shareholder value because if they are, they're horrendous managers. Once you start kicking people off your platform and the main way that you're generating money on your platform is to bring people to your platform, then you just destroy your own business model, right? because censor to was about anybody can speak their own mind and they continue to change their terms of service right and they deplatform they shadow ban they're promoting mainstream power right why because they all have a vested interest in their own companies because they have stocks in those companies right this isn't about having a private platform where you can control your own information once you become a public utility and you've gotten to where you are because of taxpayer funded money and you're pretending to be this but doing this then you're defrauding your users you're defrauding your investors right Sen sensor tube is going to collapse at some point right because they their automation is so horrendous now and here I'll read it. I'll read another part. I'll read the paragraph before the paragraph I read, right? And, and I talk about this, right? Check, check out that article. I'm just going to read the, the paragraph before the two paragraph I read in that article Anomalies, Prisons, and Geophysics How Governments Use Data and How to Stop Them, right? At present, the prep, so quote, at present, the pre, uh, at present the parameters set by these in by those involved in these investigations are narrow enough to allow the general public to feel relatively free however as time progresses and fewer anomalies are identified broader parameters will be used in the analysis of the data to ensure that no one will accidentally accidentally turn into an anomaly Anyone associated with or related to an anomaly will find their private and public life scrutinized to convince the investigators that they have not been influenced or misdirected due to their close proximity to an anomaly. Fear of certain anomalies, justified or not, will become a prison for most of those societies and fascism the end result. Okay. 
I should have started from the paragraph before. Da, 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 da. This is the part I wanted to read. The interpretation. Da, da, da. Since most anomalies, these laws will. Have. Anyway, there's a part I have here where I mentioned that one of the best ways to collapse these centralized powers is for people that work for them to create to uh, write code that is garbage for them where no one has faith trust in their code anymore right which is exactly what's happening to sensor tube right now sensor two is removing videos and deplatforming people that their automation is saying this is bad right but obviously they made a huge mistake because there was nothing in that those creators had produced that justified them being deplatformed. So, for example, Blogger took down a page which wasn't even an article we had on our site. The first page they took down from my site, which was like last month, right? Or three weeks ago, after 10 years of being on there. It was a table of contents, right? Of links going into, go, linking towards SoundCloud of the podcast that we've done. So, all they did was look at the titles of the podcast and say oh bad title so they took it out that is bad code that is bad code how long until people say well this is just garbage it's a broken system like for me i don't get sensor tube notifications for any channels that i've turned on notifications for right that includes video like movie platforms movie channels right i i turned on notifications for a couple of uh, channels i followed on sensor tube that were uploading independent science fiction movies short movies and stuff like this and animation i don't get notifications from them anymore so i stopped watching the videos because i'm not being notified and i don't get notifications from any channels that i've turned on notifications for on sensor tube anymore i get all the notifications that I've turned on notifications for on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey, right? So, majority of videos that I watch now are on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey because SensorTube is not sending me notifications. So that's a broken platform. It's not notifying people that want to be notified of videos being uploaded by creators. So if you're an independent creator or a creator end of story any type of creator why in the world would you continue just to upload to sensor to where sensor to's platform code is broken that's crazy right because you're not finding new audience and your audience is di diminishing because people are leaving sensor tube and they're going to the other platform where their code their program works right would you get into a car where the brakes don't work no of course not why would you continue to be only on sensor tube that's a broken business model i would be dumping google stock right now and in two quarters maybe even in one quarter i might begin buying puts for alphabet inc because they've they've broken their own business model right yoshi good morning how are you doing welcome welcome Ah, I see your point. Yeah. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on SensorTube as long as it's up. Uh, Lehman, AutoMod, check this out, AutoMod zapped. Uh, prevented your comment from being this is a perfect example prevented your comic uh, comment from being posted i'm going to allow it and it were zapped the word muslim and it prevented it from being uh, uploaded uh, right so that's another automation wrong right good thing there are the new platforms that are coming up online they're now allowing live streaming right but here's the comment uh you posted Lehman Chicho. I'm interested on what what you have to say about the genocide um, against uh, Ug, 
Uyghur uh, Uyghur Muslims in China uh, for me I followed Max Blumenthal's reporting on this right and Max Blumenthal's reporting uh, was pretty pretty damn good right because he, he went down the rabbit hole uh, on the gray zone right so as far as I'm concerned my take is this China's horrendous centralized power that will rip you a new one and rip humanity a new one if it needs to right I wouldn't live in China because complete dicta dictatorship totalitarian we really don't know what they're doing right they're rolling out there's zero anonymity zero privacy digital currency uh, being rolled up up the yin yang and controlled social social points so they can do that thing where they say oh chicho has been a bad boy he can't spend his money more than a centimeter away from where he lives right china can do that western governments dream of doing that that shit, right uyghur uyghur thank you very much here's the thing people in the western world us here if we really give a rat's ass about genocide being committed right trying to prevent genocide we would prevent our own governments from committing genocide once we've prevented our own governments from committing war crimes crimes against humanity genocide then we can start investigating what's going on in china right and start throwing stones right but we can't do that until we prevent our own governments from committing genocide and crimes against humanity and war crimes and start prosecuting all these horrendous monsters that exist in our societies right that are in control of our corporations and our governments so that's my take i can't do anything in regards to what's going on in china one of the reasons is we really don't have all the information coming out the second reason is i don't live in china i don't i don't have business in china i don't do i don't really do business with china right i don't buy any like for me as far as i'm concerned I try to not to consume consume any products from any countries that are committing horrendous horrendous acts against humanity uh, one of them is Israel I I 100% believe in boycott BDS movement boycott divestment sanctions movement another one is Turkey I try not to buy any products from Turkey because well Erdogan is a fanatic and uh, they support fanatics and they are commending horrendous acts against humanity another one is china i don't because i don't trust their foods and stuff that they're bringing out right another one is i tr i try not to consume too much american products right because unfortunately i'm in well fortunately i love canada but a lot of products from the united states find their way here i still do buy american products like i i buy more american products than i do chinese products I try not to I don't I don't buy any Chinese food anything coming out of China I if there's a choice between China and the United States I buy American right but I'm reducing my consumption of certain American goods because the United States is committing horrendous acts around the world right and so on and so forth Joe figure all the guns I'm scared of Turkey they are hardcore uh, yeah the Turkey is horrendous Turkey is in deep 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 trouble look at their uh, money value of their currency right it has collapsed like 80% the last like 10 years and it's hitting it's testing the new collapse of the top again and it's gonna break through right and Turkey uh, uh, Erdogan is trying to create the Ottoman Empire again with the, all the Turkish countries in there and they want to commit genocide right my ancestry is Armenian Turkey, Israel, and Azerbaijan just basically committed war crimes against Armenia, right? They're doing ethnic cleansing in the region that they took over, right? That's a war crime. That's crimes against humanity when you're ethnically cleansing a region. So it is what it is. Turkey had one of the longest running empires and it only ended 104 years ago. Yeah the young Turks wow called uh, maxed out with the young Turks right crazy 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 how's my chocolate look at this 
Look at this. Look at this. Very nice. Look at this goodness. Look at this goodness. Gang. There are very few things that are amazing as melted chocolate. What do I, what do I think of Elon Musk criticism of Bitcoin after buying and promoting it? Aaron, uh, Elon Musk is a piece of crap. He can kiss my ass and I've said it multiple times. Here, here's the only thing you have to look at to figure out what Aaron, Elon Musk is. First of all, here's the other thing. First of all, I said Bitcoin mining is not environmental friendly. Excuse me, what the hell does he think Tesla cars are, right? And regarding Tesla cars, when people came out and asked him what he thought about the CIA conducting a coup in Bolivia, right, to get a hold of, you know, to get a hold of that country, Elon Musk said, we coup who we want, deal with it, right? Why did he say that? Because lithium, because the mining in Bolivia he needs the minerals that are coming out of these mines. Elon Musk is a piece of crap. Hypocrite up the yin yang. Yeah, Xander. Musk is just a hypocritical manipulator of markets. Yeah, he's a meme and he's a bad one at that. All right. Why does a bowl of chocolate look like a healthy breakfast meal? <laughs> Cognitive dissonance, is that what it is? <laughs> Pump and dump, yeah. Happy, happy meal, meal Harry. It's awful what he's doing. It, Elon Musk is garbage. Bitmonkey, does BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey have ad revenue model? And is there any uh, criteria? Um, BitChute, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not getting any revenue from BitChute. I'm. I'm the odds are they will probably introduce revenue model at some point but they have a subscription model where creators can get the subscriptions and get more playlists i haven't done that yet i need to be above a certain level to be able to do the next phase where i'm supporting the platforms that i'm uploading to uh rumble does have ads but i don't know how their ads work right uh i know from the videos I've uploaded to Rumble I've made 17 cents so far, <laughs> whatever it is. Like I'm not really tracking it. it it's irrelevant to me. And Odyssey uses uh, library is using library coins, so it's a cryptocurrency that you're generating that that you're making. And I'm 100% okay with that, right? I'm not gonna change it to fiat or anything like this. I just use it to, uh, you know, to you can load up your. Uh, videos based on point zero one library coins or you can increase it when I have more I increase the amount so and I'm staying within that system and I'm totally happy with that uh, different models are coming up we're in a serious disruptive innovation the internet is going to look very different right then 10 years from now than it does right now like Twitter do you, how many of you actually think Twitter is going to be around 10 years from now I'm waiting for a, remember I mentioned when Twitter was trading in the, in the mid 60s to low 70s I said I'd be shorting the shit out of Twitter stock right Twitter right now is in the low 50s right I believe I'm hoping it goes up to mid 60s so I can buy puts up the yin yang and short the shit out of that thing who how many of you actually think Twitter is gonna be around 10 years from now five years from now five years from now twitter is basically going to have maybe 50 percent of the market share that it has at the best it's garbage right and talk about foolish people who put their faith in jack dorsey that's not a manager that's a fanatic right why would you invest with fanatics the best they do is have 15 minutes of fame and then they do Harry carry market with vision big time Musk is just yeah yeah oh Alan can go to Mars already I don't care what he does yeah and look at what look here's another thing with Elon Musk Elon Musk said stated that he could deliver any Pentagon war machine in space 15 minutes around the world anywhere that they want to so Elon Musk is a Pentagon war uh, puppet right He's working with the Pentagon to put weapons in space, right? Fuck Elon Musk.
business practices are very similar to larger Chinese businessmen yeah monopoly money launderer haha <laughs> like your name it's so bad he uses his influence to manipulate markets and the sad part is people fall for it yeah and a lot of people know it they just they're just traitors right how long is Musk gonna be around I don't know he might be around a long time how long is he gonna be loved by most people I don't know how long is who loves Bill Gates we're reaching the level where we won't be able to load this thing onto sensor to <laughs> I use Twitter a bunch but I think it's uh, it'll go in like eight years yeah yeah I think it's shorter library coins I have a few of them nice elder God library coins I think the shift from uh, YouTube would be pretty quick if another platform could match the convenience of YouTube man right now my videos get processed faster on Odyssey than they do on SensorTube. Sometimes videos I'm loading on SensorTube, there it's taking them 20, like a whole day, 20 hours to process. It gets stuck in it, and I have to reload it. Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey are just as nice as SensorTube. I don't know. The convenience of sensor tube is it's got a history of a lot of videos on there but when more people independent creators are loading more videos on the other platforms than they are a sensor tube then it's just exponential growth if the other platforms are growing faster than sensor tube then at some point they're going to take over sensor tube it's simple as that right Oh yeah, Bitmonkey. If you're an independent creator, you're only uploading to SensorTube. You're foolish. What a bad business model you have. Indeed, you have to upload to uh, for me. And I'm the other one I'm looking at is um, I just recently. What's it called again? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I think I still have it. The tab open. No, I don't have the tab open. I have it. I have the tab open on my other platform on my other computer. Um, oh, I forget what it is like really if you're only uploading to sensor tube that's not a business model you're gonna fail done one in a million it's like it's like signing a contract with if you want to be an actor signing an exclusive contract with walt disney right and walt disney at the same time will be signing an exclusive contract with 10 million other people so your odds of being a successful independent content creator on sensor tube would be one in 10 million one in a hundred million why the f would you do that and you do exclusive oh <laughs> why would you do that that's crazy that's crazy it's like looking for crumbs being thrown at you by technocrats in silicon valley insanity upload to the other ones that's what the internet was meant for the free flow of information this was this is my about page here this this is what i wrote on my about page when i created my about page right da -da 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 -da. about page Doink. here the essence of the internet here let me read this to you here i'll link it up in our in our chat here and when i put my about page together my friend helped me to put my page together she she kept on pushing me saying Chijo, you gotta be online you gotta be online you gotta be online and I said okay let me think about this and it took me a while to write this it's only three paragraphs right I massaged it a little bit since then but this is basically the gist of it introduction this is what I wrote right back in 2005 with the advent of the internet we have unfilled information traveling at light speed across the globe this global community functioning as the only true free society is reshaping our world where this interaction and connectivity will lead us is yet to be determined however the changes are and continue to be unprecedented as long as we have open and unbiased access to the internet chicho.com will remain active presenting a unique personal perspective and sharing our communal experiences and knowledge the essence of the internet as for who I am I believe that our personal perspective is a reflection of our influences hence below I have 
I have provided some of my influences, both major and minor, from books that I have read, to teachers that I have encountered, to movies and documentaries that I have watched, to music that I have looped, and much more. This list, in addition to the animated individual you see before you in the math videos, should provide additional insight into my nature. I hope you enjoy this labor of love. End of story. To me, that is the internet. Anyone that tries to prevent prevent me from doing that can go f themselves. That includes Google. That includes CensorTube. That includes uh, Jack Dorsey. That includes any of the technocrats that are rolling out censorship, including the centralized governments. They can all go f themselves if they try to prevent us from sharing information. Okay. Then, that's a battle we must wage and we must win. Uh, Bitmonkey, do I use a crypto wallet? Which one? Um, anonymity, brother. Sensor to upload is compromised. Elder God says, indeed, indeed. I use BitChute, but I struggle to find videos, and it does not have an app on iOS. Okay, uh, tr check out Odyssey and Rumble. Check out Odyssey on Rumble. All right. Uh, Kaitsu. It led us to show social media. Are you going to be in Onion uh, website? Uh, you're talking about Tor? Uh, I haven't yet. I will look into it later on. Right now, I'm going through and trying to archive. I have a lot of archive, like, like, and my my articles used to get a lot of views, right? Top of the a uh, lot of social media sites, like back then some of my articles I wrote made it to the top of um, dig front pages of dig front pages of reddit front pages of stumble like really but since reddit rolled out censorship reddit is compromised up the yin yang right? there's only one or two platforms you can go uh, subreddits you can go to the rest is just garbage right but since dig went where the yai you know way of whatever way of what twitter is going to go right uh but uh, anyway it is what it is off topic but it's four years today since we lost the 007 on my of my uh youth roger moore ah roger moore rest in peace or i2p website yeah tour is awesome of course i have never been there yeah <laughs> i haven't used tor either i need the i need an upgrade in my hardware to be able to get on the tor network and do the right thing right if you access things through tor in some countries you get targeted indeed and that's one of the reasons i haven't been on there right and some people say tor is a honeypot right so we'll see there's going to be alternative ways to do everything there's going to be alternative ways to do everything gang should we call the stream let's call the stream I go there every day haha <laughs> elder god i2p is good i2p is good link it up for us if you're on discord uh, bit monkey let us know here's our discord page okay aside from that gang thank you very much for being here I ate all my chocolate a little bit left I'm gonna continue eating that um, I hope you enjoyed the patio we're looking forward to doing some planting today uh, we'll have a garden going on uh, gang thank you for the follows dragons how are you doing thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i didn't catch them all um it's important for me to stay with the chat and make sure everybody has a voice and uh address everything cool man take care you too cyanide for dinner you need papaya man i need papaya i need to be in a warmer climate to grow papaya <laughs> you get anything on the onion you can get anything on the onion gang if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i also do have a subscribe star page but i don't have anyone subscribed to me supporting me from there yet so that's why i'm not promoting it but it's there as well in the alternative to patreon for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we do live stream all the chat that you see here on twitch so if you want to be on these live streams if you want to participate in these live streams in these videos live as they're happening and participate in the discussion 
Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you that are supporting this work on Twitch, gang, thank you very much for supporting this work. And mods, thank you very much for taking care of business. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines, VK, Gab, and Parlor. And we do have a Discord page. You're welcome to join us on Discord. You can come to our chat anytime you want on Twitch. Type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up, including our Discord link there and we have a few different folders where you can participate in discussions and have your say and bring your thick skin because there might be people disagreeing with you we will be uploading the audio of this live stream as long as it recorded everything properly onto soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes to me thank you for doing my pleasure have a great day to show you too let's find out you as well brother you as well and gang we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to pitch you to rumble and to odyssey warning given if you are only watching this content on sensor tube even this is might be crossing the line this live stream but i think it's important uh, to share this there as well we'll see what happens uh, because the patio is nice and chill even though we touched on a few topics that sensor tube the technocrats don't like us to talk about but it is what it is but if you're only watching this content on sensor tube start watching them on the other platforms you will be able to watch them without in-roll ads without advertisements and you will be decentralizing your information so you will not be turned into you will not live in a bubble where you don't know what's going on in the world okay aside from that gang thank you very much for being here and if you can make it tomorrow morning 10 a.m we're doing a drop in math tutoring session come with your questions and we'll see if we can help you out on tuesday night we're doing a current events live stream and on wednesday morning we're doing another comic book reading let's see what we're gonna read we got two more choices to go through right don't run from the sensors uh, but use their platforms to help people to decentralize right bye gang i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it for the math and thank you for being here everyone bye for now <laughs>